And welcome back to the show. Most master swimmers will be happy just setting one world record in 2008, but Laura Val has set 20, and the achievement has earned her the most votes for female world master swimmer of the year for the second straight year. Joining us on the phone right now from Palo Alto, California, is Laura Val. Laura, welcome to the show. How are you doing? Thanks, Peter. Um, I'm doing very well, thank you. So the only records that you don't own in the 55 to 59 age group are the breaststroke records, is that right? Yeah, I will never learn to swim that stroke. Well, you're not really making it fun for everyone else, Laura. <laughs> I, I'm, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Do you actually set a goal for how many world records you want to break in a year, or is it just, you know, I go out there and swim and, hey, I broke another record? Yeah, no, it's, it's more like, um, no, I don't set a goal for world records. In fact, I don't even really know what the world records are and after a swim I have to go back into the record books or on the internet to see if that time was a world record because I, I haven't memorized the times. But um, well, I, they're your times, Laura. Pardon me? Oh, oh I know that. <laughs> I, but I just, it, it, when I do break a world record it seems like I just kind of tick away at it by a couple hundredths of a second or a couple tenths so I'm never quite sure about the tenths. So, um, like when I swam the 100 free last year, I knew I was around a 101.5 ish, and I came in at a, you know, I think I came in at like a, a, a 5.1 or a 101.49 or something, I, and I really had to get go on the internet to see what the record was, because I, I don't know exactly what my times are. I just have fun with it, and it's, and it's all about having fun for me. Well, what event do you have the most fun swimming? Well, I've always loved butterfly. Butterfly has always been my, my favorite stroke. Um, but recently I've had more success in my freestyle events. Mm. Um, so I think, I think maybe the 100 and 200 free are, are I have the most fun with. How do you fit swimming into your life? I mean, is it something that you spend hours and hours on every day? Or is it a struggle like a lot of other people to you know, carry on the normal lifestyle but make sure you're staying on top of your stroke? Yeah, well, I think that as you get older, it gets easier. You know, when you're younger, you've got the family commitments with your kids and the soccer games and the basketball games and, and all that, and you're trying to build your career. As you get older, uh, you know, I'm pretty settled in my career. I, you know, I'm, I'm pretty secure in my job. Um, my kids are both out of college, so I don't have that uh, responsibility anymore, and they're both, you know, you know resourceful adults now. So it's a lot easier for me at my age to, to do my swimming. But that said, I swim, um, I, I spend an hour and a half a day swimming, and that's it. The rest of my time is spent, you know, at work with family and friends. So it's just an hour and a half of my day. I do it at 6 o'clock in the morning, and then I'm done with it. I don't, um, I don't cross train. I don't do weights. I don't run. I don't do anything like that. So it's, it's actually pretty simple now. And what do you think of winning the uh, prestigious uh, Swimming World Master Swimmer of the Year Award two times now? I know. It's absolutely awesome. And I really have to um, thank Swimming World for that. I think that, um, you know, what you're doing is, is absolutely awesome. And to recognize Master Swimmers is just amazing to me. I mean, I just think it's something that we do for fun. And it's kind of something we just do for ourselves. And to be recognized like this is extraordinary. Hey, you know those credentials carry some weight on the pool deck. You can throw those around if somebody's uh, in your lane during warm-ups or something like that. In my lane? In, yeah, uh, we'll, not we'll get you a card. We'll get you a card that says Swimming World Master Swimmer of the Year and uh, just show that and everybody has to move out of your lane during warm-ups. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll, we can do that. <laughs> uh, at workout, nobody really cares. I mean, nobody even knows. <laughs> it's, um, I'm, I'm kind of their little mascot in workout. <laughs> Who do you work out with? I mean, do you work out with other people your age, or you're probably good enough you could be swimming with 20-year-olds? Well, um, it's interesting. I swim for Tamalpais Aquatic Masters, which is in, up in San Rafael, California, and I do that because those are my friends and the people that go to the swimming meets, and we have relays, and I've swum with them for about 12 years. Um, I live in Santa Clara, so I train at Santa Clara Swim Club with the Masters team there. The Masters team there, nobody goes to any of the swimming meets. Uh, they don't have relays. They don't have, uh, they have an organized workout, but it's made up of a lot of uh, tries. We have some very, very fast triathletes. Um, uh, Becky Gibbs-Lavelle actually made the Olympic team last year, and she's one of 
uh, the people that I swim with every day, although she's much faster than I am, but um, we swim, I swim with a group of mostly triathletes, and um, and we, we do pretty, pretty good workouts, pretty hard workouts. I try to keep up with them. Uh, so far, so good, but I mean, there will be a time when maybe when I turn 60 and they'll ask me to leave their lane, but I don't know. Right now, I'm hanging in with them. So what's your next meet, and what are the big goals for 2009? 25 world records, or what's on tap? Well, let's see. This year, I'm fourth year in my age group, so that would be that would that would be pretty amazing. So I don't think that's going to happen. But um, let's see. The goals. Well, actually, my number one goal in swimming is to continue to, continue to have fun, which is what I think master swimming is all about. I think a lot of people take it too seriously, but I don't. I just love doing it. I love swimming. I love competing. Um, you know, swimming is a lifetime endeavor, so, you know, it, it's, it's something that keeps us healthy and keeps us happy, and um, that's sort of my goal for swimming. If I can chip away at those records, you know, it makes it even more fun. But um, so my goal for, for this year is to look at the times I did last year and see if I can kind of chip away at them. There's a lot of things that are helping me do that. I think um, the new swimsuits out there, they're kind of fun. I'm really enjoying, you know, trying the new swimsuits and seeing what that does to my performance. And I think, you know, like everyone else, it's helping a little bit. Well, every little bit helps, especially when you're chipping away at your own world records. Laura, yeah. thanks a lot for joining us. We appreciate it. Thanks very much, Peter. All right, good luck. Thank you. That's Laura Val joining us. 2009, 2008, Master Swimmer of the Year, according to Swimming World Magazine. If you want to send us some comments, you can email us at mail at morningswimshow.com or call us at 1-800-345-7946. I'm Peter Bush. Thanks for watching. Thanks again to Tier for sponsoring the show. We'll leave you today with a look inside the April issue of Swimming World magazine.